Hello, church family. I'm Pastor Jeff, and I get the privilege of coming to you in our midweek message this week. Um, what we want to talk about today um, is kind of a, a springboard off of our message from this last weekend, where we were encouraged to be good stewards of the financial resources that God has given us. And not only are we supposed to be good stewards of, of our finances, there's another thing that we need to steward well, and that is our giftedness. Uh, we believe here at First Baptist that every person, every follower of Christ has been given a gift. And those gifts are not to be hoarded, but those gifts are to be used to edify and build up the church. Every single one of you, whether you believe it or not, you've got a special unique gift and an ability that the Holy Spirit has given you to serve in the church. And we talk all the time here about how important it is that you get connected because we believe that you grow better when you're connected. And some of the ways to get connected are community groups and, and small groups and men's and women's Bible studies. There's lots of different ways to get connected that way. But there's another way to get connected, and that is through service. There are so many different ways. There's opportunities to get connected through using your gift to serve. There's a great verse in the book of Psalms. Psalm 92, 13 says, Those who are planted in the house of the Lord will flourish in the courts of our God. Those that are planted will flourish. One of the ways to get connected, one of the ways to plant your roots firmly in the body life of First Baptist Church is to find a place to serve. If you've got a, a little, little shrub or a flower or a little succulent and that's not planted in the ground, it's gonna wither up. It's gonna, it's gonna die because it doesn't have any nourishment. But if you take that plant and you put it in the ground, it could get its roots dug deep and it will flourish, just like what the psalmist is saying about people. We wanna provide opportunities for you to serve. Yes, there's work to be done here, but I'm not trying to recruit workers to get stuff done. I'm trying to encourage you to find opportunities to plant your roots deep because we think Serving, sure, it's good for the church, but it's also good for you. And many of you are already serving, and I want to just encourage you to keep it up, and I want to thank you for that area that you're serving in. But if you aren't connected, and you aren't um, utilizing that gift, that, that special talent that God has given you, I want to encourage you to explore maybe some opportunities to get involved. And you'll find community through your service. You'll have opportunities to meet people um, through your act of service. And there's a couple things right now that are, that are currently in need of some helpers, of some laborers. And I want to highlight them. And they're areas that I happen to be involved with. There's this thing called upward basketball that has become a big part of my life. And it's become a big part of the body life here at Salem First Baptist. And as upward gets started, we can't make that ministry happen unless we've got a fleet, a team of people that are working together to pull it off. So some of the areas that, that we need some help is we need some folks who'd be willing to come down on Saturday mornings starting in January and help run our scoreboard. We need some folks who are willing to work at our concession stand. I need some folks that are willing to be referees. And I promise you, in this league, we do not allow screaming at the referees. We only allow affirming claps for referees. So if you'd be willing to, to come on down, I'll train you. I'll give you a cool ref jersey and a whistle. I'll hook you up, but I need help, and you need to serve. So if you love sports, you love kids, come on down and help with Upward. Another area of need that would be really easy to get connected to is on Sunday morning and on Saturday night when we have our services, I have a team of people that help greet and assimilate our folks into the church service. So I need some folks who'd be willing to be greeters, not just holding the door open. I can get a doorstop to hold the door open. I need a friendly person who's willing to greet people. That, that first face, that, that person that kind of gives us some positive curb appeal, if you will, to greet folks as they come and let them know how glad we are to see them. And once they're inside, I've got a group of people that serve on our security team that make sure that we have a safe environment for folks to come worship, and to know that when they drop their kids off, we've got some people patrolling the hallways to make sure this is a safe environment. I need people on my security team. I need someone to stand at the Welcome Center so when people have questions, there's someone there that's friendly and informed that can answer questions for them. So maybe you might want to join my, my greeting and my assimilation team. I would love to, to, to get you integrated in that way. There are myriad opportunities. This weekend, there's going to be a little kiosk in the lobby. 
that you can go back and you can sign up. If you don't want to, to find it, the kiosk, you can also use that tool that we have uh, through your phone. If you text FBC Life to the number 94000, you will get a prompt. Choose option three and you will get a myriad of opportunities to serve and there's also a little spot where you can say other. I don't know what I want to do. But I heard that midweek message and I was inspired. I want to have my, my roots firmly planted so I can flourish in the house of God. Just click other and someone will reach out to you and say, hey, what are you good at? What do you like to do? Let's find a place for you to serve. There's places in men's ministry and women's ministry. I know there's a need right now for some coaches in our grief share ministry. There's all sorts of opportunities. And these are great opportunities for you to get connected to use that gift that God has given you to edify and build up his church. We'd love to have you involved because we believe people grow better when they're connected. So be encouraged. Um, look for opportunities to serve. Come find one of the pastors, one of the folks on the team. We'd love to get you integrated because we want to get to know you better and we need you. We need you on the team. We need you serving because you'll make us better. So. I hope this was an encouraging message and I hope you have a great rest of the week. We'll see you this weekend.